And I had applied for the third year, as a matter of fact. And uh, I kept applying because I really wanted to have an AAUW fellowship. And uh, that I thought that it was probably the most meaningful fellowship that any woman could get in an academic field today. Well, a few years ago, I became interested in the larger question of women in the American Revolution. The woman who held my interest and fascination, most of all, was Abigail Adams. The American Association of University Women was founded in 1882. If women's liberation means expanding opportunities for women and increasing alternative careers and lifestyles, then AAUW has been engaged in women's lib since the beginning. Back in 1886, Marion Talbot, a founder of AAUW, asked each member to contribute one dollar to help finance the scholarly work of other women. This would, she said, enable gifted women to use their intellectual powers for the good of humanity. In 1966, Dr. Marjorie Malmberg received the AAUW Marie Curie Fellowship in Physical Chemistry. In the early 1920s, the AAUW uh, women attempted to raise a fund and were quite successful in raising money to purchase one gram of radium for Madame Curie to use in her research. She returned funds which became the basis of the fellowship many years later. And every time I see a radium 226 peak, <laughs> but I think that Madame Curie's ghost is catching up with me. Thus, the AAUW Fellowships program began. Its first grant was to Ida M. Street for graduate study in English at the University of Michigan, an award of $350. Since that time, over 3,000 fellowships have been awarded to women in 80 countries. The research from Dr. Sarah Emmerwar's postdoctoral fellowship in Greece in 1961 was published. My deep commitment to the fellowship program and my appreciation of what it has brought me in terms of scholarly recognition and professional advancement. The fellowships program serves American and international women graduate students. American women are eligible to apply for fellowships for doctoral or postdoctoral research. Well, frankly, the AAUW was the only place that I was aware of that would sponsor pre-doctoral research. Judith Oldak is studying for her doctorate in biomedical engineering on an AAUW fellowship at the National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. American women are also eligible to apply for fellowships in the professions an added dimension which recognizes that women are expanding their career goals. Well, I uh, learned about the AAUW Fellowship Program actually uh, from uh, the associate dean at my law school, the University of Minnesota. Uh, that was the, the first year in which the AAUW was giving fellowships to uh, law students and other professional women. What it really did for me was simply sponsor me through my final year of law school. Cindy Atwood was employed at the U.S. Department of Justice and is working in civil rights with Mr. Stanley Pottinger, Assistant Attorney General. During a full year to get my dental degree, AAUW was very helpful in helping me secure this. I'm very pleased to say uh, I'll be forever indebted to them because without them I don't know if I would have been able to finish because my husband was in law school and he was trying to go and that was an expense on us and then with me trying to go and nobody having a full-time salary and my parents couldn't help me at all financially so I had to work. In 1971 Dr. Barbara Johnson used her AAUW fellowship to complete her final year of study at the College of Dentistry at Howard University. In 1975 105 American fellows received awards. I was looking through fellowship possibilities and I, I knew I wanted to do something on women up here on the hill. My mother is a member of an AEW local chapter, and she mentioned to me. Janet Breslin is from California. Her fellowship provides her the unusual opportunity to study the role of the staff of a U.S. senator, such as her own, Senator Cranston, from California. 
The AAUW International Fellowships Program provides for graduate study in the United States for women from other countries. My name is Isabel Castellanos, and I'm from uh, Cuba, but I live in Colombia. I am um, in the graduate school at Georgetown University, and I am uh, studying linguistics. I am going for a PhD in linguistics. Not being an American citizen, you know, there are very limited opportunities for me. Uh, see, I am a Cuban, so in Colombia, I can't get fellowships for Colombians because I'm a Cuban citizen. And here in the United States, I can't get fellowships as an American either, so my possibilities were very limited for fellowships. And uh, then I found out, you know, that the, the AAUW gave uh, scholarships to uh, um, women who were not from the United States and who were going back to their countries. 1974 marked the beginning of Creative Arts Awards. Women with exceptional talent in the visual arts are selected with the assistance of the National Endowment for the Arts. These awards are for professional rather than academic work. Interest in the educational needs of newly independent and developing countries in Africa prompted the African Educators Program. AAUW members started earmarking special contributions for this program, and in 1963, with the cooperation of the United States Department of State, African teachers were brought to the United States to study. Originally, program participants were classroom teachers. Today, they are educational administrators, a transition which reflects the increased numbers of women in educational administration roles in developing countries. AAUW fellowships are unique. They are given with no strings attached. The recipients must show competence to carry out significant and feasible projects. The demands on their time and their energies are limited only to their academic work. The financial assistance freed me. That's what it, what it did. At that point, my husband was going to school at night and working during the day, and we didn't have a whole lot of financial freedom. And it freed me from having to, say, teach extra courses, which I had been doing. It allowed me some degree of flexibility. Mary Oliveri received her doctoral fellowship in psychology at John Hopkins University. My name is Teresa Coletti. I am a, a new assistant professor of English at the University of Maryland. I used my fellowship to complete my doctoral dissertation, which was a study of the staging of one medieval Corpus Christi cycle and the visual arts. The, the AAUW, that's one of the beauties of the, of the program. You explain to them that you, that you have a desire to do something, and, and you explain uh, why you think you can do it and why, why uh, you should do it, <laughs> and, and then they, they respond on, in those terms. Dr. Dixie Lee Ray, who received the Achievement Award at the 1975 National Convention of AAUW for a record of distinction in scholarly and professional work, recalled, Remember that if you want to be anything, you've got to work hard. The most important thing is to pull up your socks and get to work, but to remember that first, before you try to do anything, have yourself a solid base in some discipline. The purpose of the AAUW Educational Foundation is to carry out educational and public service projects. Through the fellowships program, members of AAUW assist each other in the development of their intellectual capacities and professional skills. In addition, members of AAUW support another aspect of the Educational Foundation, research and projects, which is primarily devoted to public service projects and to individual research which is not aimed at advanced degree work. In 1929, a million dollar endowment goal was set for the fellowships fund. In that difficult period in our history, members worked hard and saw their goal met. Now, the Centennial Fund has a goal of $10 million in endowments by the 100th birthday of AAUW in 1982. Such an increase in endowment will make possible both an enlargement of the fellowships program and the opportunity for new directions. Dollars translate into programs, and programs translate into progress for women. The AAUW fellowships program exemplifies the vision of idealism and reality. Mainly because I felt that I would perhaps get 
a little more understanding and a little more sympathy from AAUW. I mean, here are you know a bunch of professional women that have made it career-wise and 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 uh, are sort of aware of what it takes and the help that's needed. I didn't do a typical, in quote, typical female study. AAUW said, you know, this is great. This is outside of tradition. You know, this is a uh, something new for women and, and it will encourage more women. The AAUW Fellowships Program demonstrates what a group of committed women can accomplish. The expansion of knowledge and the advancement of human welfare. In 1966, Dr. Naomi Diamond received a postdoctoral fellowship from AAUW to research a documentary film in England on Chaucer. I should like to share with you what it was like that day Almost 10 years past now, when I received the word that the American Association of University Women would support my project, that assurance, that special vote of confidence, could not have come at a more crucial moment for me. In the words of Dorothy Rood Atkinson, initiator and chairman of the Million Dollar Fellowship Fund, AAUW has recognized the obligation of university women to keep lighted the torch which has illuminated their own educational experience. We can do it if we do it all together. Let's put it all Love in a car, baby.